Faith is belief in Allah and the messengers, the angels and the final day and the holy scriptures. To believe in destiny that good and bad both come from him and the resurrection. There is no God but Allah. La ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah La ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha I started studying textual criticism and being that I was his best friend I started studying textual criticism My friend came to me one day and he asked me a question that, that I had never really even pondered upon he, he asked me, he said, have you ever read the Bible? And I said uh, no, in church. I mean, yeah, we've all read the Bible in church, but he's like, no, 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 have you ever read it? You know, like you read a book beginning to end. I said, no, I'm not, I don't know anybody that's read, nobody that I knew had ever read it, beginning Genesis 1, 1 to the end. He said, so, but this is the inerrant word of God, as we are taught. This is our instructions on earth. Why haven't we read it? He said, let us start with Genesis 1, 1. And let's read the Bible and let's see what God says to us. There were a few things that I had learned from the Old Testament that, that, that I wanted to keep in mind when I started to read the New Testament. I learned, number one, that God was one in a unique sense. I read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. All of it was saying the same to me. I said, but, and I, I was thinking to myself, this is not what I was taught about Christianity. And started to read the writings of uh, Paul the Apostle. And... Things went from this to this. It went from one way to another way. It went completely flipped, turned around. The entire teachings went from obeying God, worshiping God, following the law, to worshiping Jesus Christ and abolishing the law completely. So I started to, I went and asked him about all this stuff I saw. <clears throat> and he told me, he said, um, what you have is a book written by men. And he said, and after all these years, you have a book now that is compiled from all of this, written by the hands of men that still have men's fingerprints left on it. And that's what you have. You have an imperfect book that is only perfected through faith. There was one Littman's test that I used for every religion. And when I saw it, whenever I met them, or the people or whatever about this religion, I would always ask them, do you have a book? Do you have a book? Because another thing I had come to the conclusion of is that if your religion is true, you should be able to ha tangibly hand me something and show me that this religion is true. I believed in God with no form of religion. Um, I prayed to God on the floor on my hands and knees because this is how all the books of God, this is how the, 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 the Bible, uh, the Torah, the, the New Testament, the Bhagavad Gita, the, all of these scriptures that I ever read, they said that this is how the men of God prayed. I was looking in the religious section in, in the library at, at, at school and there was a book about Islam. It said that Muslims were people who uh, worshipped a moon god named, named Allah uh, who lived in a box in the desert in Saudi Arabia. Remember the, the, the one thing that really caught my attention was the whole uh, chapter on jihad where it said that Muslims were allowed to kill non-Muslims at any time, at any place without discretion and it was an honorable act and not only would they go to heaven before it but they would get 70 versions on the way. You know, so I closed the book on Islam, put it back on the shelf and marked off Islam off my little list of religions. He said, have you ever heard of Islam? I said, yes, I've heard all about Islam. <laughs> he was like, okay, so what do you think of it? I said, what do you mean what I think of it? That's probably the worst religion I've ever seen on the face of the planet. He's like, why? And he's like, but I'm a Muslim. I was like, man, st stop playing. <laughs> uh, uh, after the, the Adhan, and he started his khutbah. I said, oh my God. I said, I bet you he's talking about me. <laughs> you know, and he's being forceful, you know, he was getting loud and banging on the member and he's pointing in my direction. You know, I'm like, oh man, I gotta get out of here really quick, you know. You have a book, can you give me? He said, yes, we have a book. Uh, I, I said, it's called the Quran. I said, can I read it? Uh, uh, is it in English? Can I read it? He said, sure, you can read it. And then he tried to explain it to me a little bit how it came by. I said, nah, just give me the book because the book should speak for itself. And I, I cried and cried, you know, that I had been looking for the truth all this time, had searched all this way, and it was right across the street. Right across the street from my house. We have the solution to every problem in the world. 
You want to solve the world hunger? Uh, the world hunger's pro the, the problem of world hunger? Islam has the problem. You want to solve the problem of world poverty? Islam has the answer. You want to fix the economic situation of this country? Islam could fix it tomorrow. I have some deep questions about Christians. The Catholics have a prayer called Hail Mary. Yeah. And you know, Hail Mary, Mother of God. Mm -hmm. Blessed art thou amongst women. And I thought, well, how does God have a mum? And I thought, you know, as a little kid, I was thinking, well, if God has a mum, then, you know, this mum must be a bigger God than God. Mm -hmm. Right, I mean, this is how you try, you know, because you don't think that, as a kid, people are teaching you falsehood, right? You, you tend to trust the people around you, and you tend to trust what the society is telling you. But at the end of this conversation, he said to me, so you believe Jesus is God? I said, yeah. And he said, and you believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins? I said, yeah. He said, so you believe God died? And it's like, <laughs> you know, the lights went on. And so then I started to begin to look into different religions uh, and different philosophies. And I found that Buddhism, to be honest, was, you know, well, it, it did have a positive effect on me. It had a very... Uh, it, you know, it did have a positive effect for me, but at the end of the day, it still wasn't answering the fundamental questions. Why are we here? What's the purpose of life? What's the reason for our existence? And I actually invented my own religion, my own religion, which was sort of a mixture of Christianity and Buddhism and Hinduism and, you know, and, and psychosomatic yoga and, and mm -hmm. magic and you know whatever I read about and studied in philosophy and you know I just put it together mm -hmm. in the self-made religion um, and that was the worst of all the experiences you know spiritual experiences I had that one I got to the stage when I thought you know, maybe there is no religious truth maybe there is no big answer maybe there is nothing more to life than having money. I realized that if I had ever read a book that was from God, this was it. From all the books I had read, all the religions I had studied, if there was one that was true, this was the true religion. This was the true book. This is the one that was So you were born into a Buddhist family. Buddhist family. Well, when I became a Christian, when I look at the teaching, is so beautiful. Yeah. I say, if this teaching is so good, yeah, the, the, the religion of love, I should bring it and share it with my people. That's how I, I, I commit myself in the Christian mission school. When I want to prepare myself, I got to learn more and more. I got to go deeper because I'm worried if I start to carry out this mission, if the people ask me, I don't have an answer. So I have a lot of Muslim friends too. And so sad that the Muslims don't invite me to Islam. So I have nothing to do with Islam. I don't know what about Islam. I think this religion belongs to only to one group of people, not for everybody. Yeah. And these people don't believe that Jesus is God. I think I want to share with them this beautiful religion. Now that's like, you, you feel like if they don't accept this, they'll go to hell? Yeah, the that's, same thing. Yes, of okay. course we believe in that. Because there's the only salvation. I was not allowed to read the Quran because 